Families in Israel and here at home wait in agony for word of their loved ones who've been taken hostage. Hamas is holding more than 100 people, according to the United Nations. The State Department now confirms 22 Americans are among the dead in the unprecedented attack on Israel. The war between Israel and Hamas has claimed more than 2,200 lives on both sides so far. Philadelphia reporter Brandon Goldner spoke to a Temple University student who says she felt compelled to help her country. And I've lost so many friends. I've lost so many relatives. I've lost, so, we've all lost so many people. I've missed three funerals. Edin Ankri says she's barely slept the last few days. As her family back home in Israel sends her videos of destruction and photos of them huddled in a concrete stairwell following the attack by Hamas. All I want to do is hug everyone and help and see them. Because I know I will never forgive myself if I, if something had happened to one of my bestest friends and I couldn't say hi, say bye. We first introduced you to Ankri Saturday when we spoke to her just hours after the attack began. I feel like my home is burning and I can't do anything. Now, four days later, she says she's found strength by raising money to buy protective gear for her friends who are near the front lines in Gaza. I wanna fight for my country, even when I'm far away. But she won't be so. far away for long. She's flying home to Israel in a suburb of Tel Aviv to be there with her family. I'm home. You're safe. Even though we're in the midst of, if, of a war, my people make me safe. Feeling safe by being home with her community. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.